Math easy solution trying to discuss another inverse trigonometry identity and now look at this one uh, basically inverse tangent uh, of x plus inverse cotangent of x and show that it equals 2 pi over 2. Now before I get to the proof of this I just want to state that you could use the corollary theorem from my mean value theorem uh, corollary videos uh, corollary theorem videos and you can see in the video links below to basically prove this and I'll just quickly recap on that theorem which is pretty straightforward basically if f if the derivative is zero for all of x in an interval a and b like here a to b here then f is constant on a and b basically if the derivative is zero this means the slope is zero so it's a zero slope like this which means the derivative, yeah, because the derivative is zero, it's a constant function. So f of a is going to equal to f of b over here, and anywhere in between, all equals the same, even at c, at x1, x2, it doesn't matter, it's all the same. So you can see, uh, make sure to watch my video below for proof of this. But anyway, so we could use this to prove it. I'll get to that in a bit. So now to prove this, first of all, uh, let's just uh, write this as a function f of x is equal to uh, inverse tan of x plus inverse cotangent of x right here. So we have this one here. Now if we we're taking the derivative of this, uh, basically, and I showed my earlier video this, the derivative of inverse tan of x and also inverse cotangent of x. So make sure you watch those in the video links below. Now the thing about those, those for inverse uh, tan right here, this is just one divided by one plus x squared. And now for this one here, the derivative is just minus one plus x squared and it's for all values of x so as you can see here this is the exact same thing but with a minus the derivative of this one is the same as this but with a minus so they just cancel out so this equals to zero so now we have the derivative equaling to zero this is for all values of x so since it's derivative of zero for all values of x then the, co the function f of x has to be constant so by this corollary theorem, since f x uh, derivative is zero for all x in an interval a and b, in this case it's just all values of x, then f is constant. Thus we have f of x equaling to a constant, and if it equals to a constant, what this means is that at any x value, we should have one exact value. So what we could do is plug in anything inside f of x. So we can plug in anything. I'll, I'll plug in f of 1, and the reason I'll get to that in a bit, basically, because we can easily solve for that. So we just plug this in, um, inverse 10 of 1, and then plus inverse cotangent of 1. Like I showed my earlier video on exact trigonomic ratios, if you were to draw a triangle like this, basically, if this is a 45 degrees angle, yeah, let's say it's, uh, it's half of a box here, so this is just a quick way of me memorizing uh, exact trigonomic ratio. So this is 45 degrees and in radians this equals to pi over 4. Let's say it's a box of size 1, 1 and then this is going to be uh, 1 plus 1 uh, all square root. The square root 2 using uh, Pythagoras theorem. So so basically this is just uh, exact trigonomic ratio for pi over 4 here. So with this we know that tan is opposite over adjacent. So tan of pi over 4 yeah, this just equals to well opposite over adjacent which is 1 over 1 which just equals to 1 and then cotangent of pi over 4 this is just uh, opposite so basically adjacent over uh, over uh, opposite or 1 divided by 10 uh, pi over 4 yeah and this basically also equals to 1 right here so they both equal the same thing and we know that we take the inverse of it this this just means solving for the inside function now in terms of this one so basically uh, 1 is equal to not 1 I mean uh, basically you write pi over 4 using just the basic definition of inverse function equals 2 inverse cotangent of uh, 1 and this also equals to well it's gonna be the pi over 4 they're both pi over 4 so this also equals to t inverse tangent of 1 so basically this, you're basically writing this as a function of this one here, and that's what this inverse means. So now we know it's pi over 4, so we can plug those in, so we get f of x, or f of 1, is equal to f of x, because it's constant, and this equals 2, pi over 4, they're both pi over 4, that's uh, plugging this over here. So pi over 4 plus pi over 4 
and this equals to pi over 2. And there is our proof for it. So there we just proved our theorem. And now if you're doing graph in Google graphing calculator like I have here, just a quick note on it, uh, you could write arc 10 or you could write a 10. You could just delete this a 10. This should work. And uh, as you see, it automatically puts arc 10. But the thing is with arc cotangent, for some reason, it, you can't write arc cot. You have to f write the full tangent inside there. So that, that I don't know why, it's, but it shows arc cot. But anyways, so as you can see here, the addition, this one is just our identity here. So it, this plus this, what is it equal to? As you can see, this is the blue one. So arc or uh, inverse tangent of x plus inverse cotangent of x, as you can see, it equals to 1.57 over here, which is pi over 2, 1.5707, etc. And then as you can see, but the arc cotangent is this yellow one over here. And it it's basically goes down like this. And then the red one is the arc tangent goes like this. And, and the addition of it always is a flat horizontal line, which is pi over 2, which is 1.57. Yeah, here I've copied and pasted it onto this uh, Word document just to show also basically. So this is uh, pi over 2. And this equals to, if you plug in a calculator of uh, pi over 2, is a pi 1.57-ish, etc. It keeps going on. And also at this point right here, this is exactly the same. This point and this point, this is exactly half of pi over 2 or pi over 4. And as you can see, this divided by 2 is around 0.8-ish. Uh, I'll just write 0.8-ish. Just plug in the calculator, etc. So anyways, that's all for today. Uh, I put this in here because if you want to download these notes, it's uh, you can, like always, in the link below. You can download these, exa these exact notes. And thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.